This is Grinders Gear 90 second review of the No Bull Limited Edition Camo Trainers. When you go out and try to find new companies that are out there that are doing different things in fitness and different things in CrossFit, you never know what to expect. Now I'd seen these trainers from Noble and we had uh, some of their other products that we reviewed in the past, but I'd seen these, I really had my eye on these for a while and I talked to the people at Noble about getting a hold of some of these trainers. I started seeing more and more athletes at the regional level and at the games level uh, popping up wearing these shoes and they were always very intriguing, but I didn't really know what they were gonna be like until I got my hands on them. Um, some of the main features that I enjoy about this shoe is they have this plastic kind of uh, um, uh, coating over the top, which it doesn't matter if it's a digital camo or if it's any of the other types of trainers they have. Uh, they all have the same consistent design. Uh, I think this pattern is really cool um, and you have the reflective uh, noble on the side. But the cool thing is that this is a seamless design. This is a one piece. Um, makeup right here. It's sewn in the back and then everything goes together. It also makes it much more durable and much more waterproof. Uh, if you're somebody that lives in, a, in an environment in which it rains occasionally, it snows sometimes, those kind of things, this is going to do a much better job of protecting your foot. Remember, my concern was that it was going to get way too hot inside the shoe and it was going to be uncomfortable, but it's actually very breathable for something that's a one-piece design. The other um, thing I was both interested in and a little concerned about was how stiff and, and solid the rubber base of the up lower was. Um, because of that, I thought this was not gonna be a great shoe to run in, but luckily uh, through our programming that we had, uh, we were breaking out some 400 meters and even a half mile run, and they're extremely comfortable to run in, but at the same time are very stable. They have a very interesting base. The first time I put these on and did a squat in them, I was, I was shocked with how sturdy they felt and how secure I felt in the heel at full depth on a squat or doing a wall ball or something like that, but they're still nice enough to give you enough padding when you're going into different movements uh, such as box jumps and those kind of things, double unders. I know these are a little bit more expensive than some other shoes that are out there in the CrossFit community right now, but they're definitely worth looking into and uh, giving them a chance if you're looking for a shoe that not everybody has at your local affiliate.